Hey there friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Rebecca Austin and on this channel we talk about all things Kajabi, marketing, and growing your online business. Now one of the best ways to look at growing your business is through coaching. If you are a coach or thinking about doing coaching, now is the perfect time to be looking at Kajabi and I'm so excited because I'm here today to introduce the new coaching product that Kajabi is launching. This is such a game changer. It has been for me with my business and because coaching is such a big part of what I do and I'm super excited to be able to introduce it to you today. Now I have several videos that I'm going to be putting out around the coaching product. Today I'm going to introduce it to you. So if you are thinking about Kajabi or you don't have Kajabi or even if you have Kajabi but you want to get a little better idea about the features and what's available in this new coaching product, today's video is for you. Now the next videos, we're going to dive deeper into how to set it up, how to um, connect it with your Calendly or to set it up with your calendar scheduling system and all of the other features that go along with that. We'll also have some videos where we'll talk more about other uses and a video where we're going to talk about the specifics on the difference between one-on-one -on -one coaching and group coaching and how to best do those in Kajabi. So be sure to watch for those videos. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I invite you to do so. So you'll be notified when I launch those videos. Okay, so let's dive into the new coaching product in Kajabi. Let me share my screen and I'll show you what we've got here. Okay, so this is the new coaching product inside Kajabi. This is from the client's perspective. So rather than dive right into the back end of Kajabi, I wanted to show you first what it looks like for your clients. Now you can customize what colors are available here. So this, this upper banner, um, as well as our highlights and what our accent color is. So that is one thing and I'll show you that when we do the walkthrough of how to set this up in the back end of things. Um, you also set it up for how many sessions. You can do a one-off session or you can do a multiple session package. And the coaching product is essentially a single product in your Kajabi. Um, and then you set it up for how many sessions you want that product to be. But the cool thing about this that's different from anything else that Kajabi has done before is that each individual person who has purchased this product or has access to this product is individual, meaning they can't see what everybody else has. It's only what they have. It's very individual and specific to that one person, but you can have as many people as you want in that one product. Um, you would just use multiple products in Kajabi depending on how many packages that you offer. So for example, in my account, um, I've set up a single session, I have a two session package, I have a five session package, and I have a 10 session, session package. So those are all separate products. So this is an example of the 10 session product. And when we go in here, you can see then here are the 10 sessions. And when we click on the session, inside the session itself, we can actually schedule this. So if it hasn't been scheduled yet, I can actually click on the schedule now and it's been integrated with my Calendly so that then the person can go ahead and schedule that particular session. The other thing that is really cool is that your client will have the option to have agenda items and resources that you can upload and have these in here. And you can have your client then that will have private notes that they take. Now here's one little caveat that as of right now, the current coaching session that they've launched, um, it, it, the agenda and the resources and the notes are um, the client does not have option to add agenda items or add resources and the notes section is completely private. So whatever they type there, you cannot see. And on the back end, whatever you type in your notes section, they're not going to be able to see. But I'll go over that later as far as some workarounds and some different things to be able to, if that's an important thing for you and your coaching uh, relationship with your clients. 
But this is what it looks like and it's really cool because it gives us the option then to set up agenda items and check those off to make sure you're touching points on all of those and on specific resources. That could be downloads, it could be videos, worksheets, anything that you want to have included for that client or for the collective group. Uh, so this is what it looks like on the inside, which is super, super cool. And then once they've completed a session, then it's marked as complete. So they'll be able to see where they stand and you'll be able to see where they stand as far as how many sessions are left on what, the package that they've paid for. So let's jump on over then and I'll show you the back end. All right. So when you log into your Kajabi dashboard, then the other, once you've set up your products, this is what it looks like for you inside yours. So I've just set up three different package sessions right now um, to give you an idea. So I have a two session, a 10 session, and the single session for the website funnel or um, pre-launch review that I do for my clients. Uh, to help them to make sure everything is working the way it needs to be and offer my suggestions and improvements. So this is a really popular one. So what we do, if I go back to my dashboard, um, this is what's really cool. After you have things set up, it will have this dashboard where one, if you have upcoming um, sessions, they will show here. So you'll be able to see which session number and the time and um, all of those things that go along with the upcoming sessions that you have available. Um, how many clients are currently active, how many completed sessions, and your revenue. Now this is brand new, I haven't entered all of my stuff yet, but this kind of gives you an idea of, of what this looks like on your coaching dashboard. So it's really great because it helps you to manage your coaching and um, see where you stand on all of the, the different clients. You can also look at past and it'll have a list of your past sessions. You can have pending sessions um, and all of those kind of things. So you can look through all of those and see um, from a management perspective. All right, now this is where up here at the top we have programs, clients, and settings. So if we go into settings, this is where we can go into our um, integrations. And if you haven't connected that yet, although the first time you set this up, we'll go over this in my video on how to go through everything and how to set it all up. But this is, like I said, just an overview. I'm not gonna go into clients because that's all private information. If we go into programs, like I showed you earlier, this is the, the programs I have set up. So actually, when you go into your dashboard for the specific product, it shows you a list of how many, of what your active clients are. You can also look at past, but what's really cool is we also then can see the program progress right here at the end. So you can see where each one of them stands in how many sessions they've used and how many they still need to use. Now, in addition to that, we can go into our package outline. This is pretty cool because this is where I've set it up as 10 sessions, but I can actually go in here and I can edit this. So if I wanna call this something besides a session, so we could call it a coaching call or we could call it whatever we want to. Maybe you're using this for something besides coaching and you are keeping using it to keep track of um, maybe copywriting sessions or whatever it is that you want to keep track of as far as a certain number with communication with that one client, you can do that. So we can be a little bit more specific and customize the title of um, each one of the, the session blocks. This is also where we can add agenda and resources for the whole group. So say that when you do your coaching package, you do the same agenda items for session one, session two, session three, and so forth. You can actually set it up here under the package outline and that will show up for everybody. If I go into an individual client, I can actually set up individual agenda items and individual resources on the client level. So that's what's really cool about the way that they've designed this is it gives us a little bit of flexibility from that perspective to be able to best support our clients in their knowledge journey and in their transformations that we're coaching them on. All right, so those are our uh, back end of the, the coaching side of things. 
Um, and of course, then we also can see what offers are associated with this. Um, just like anything in Kajabi, and it's a product, so in order to get access to a product, they have to go through an offer. And so that way then they can be granted access through the offer or they can purchase the offer. So if it's a client that um, has already paid you and you want to be able to bring them in on this new program, you can simply grant, you can set it up under an offer, grant access, <clears throat> then go back in and mark complete how many sessions that they've already done. So that's what I did with, with some of my clients to get them in here and experimenting with it. Any new clients, of course, coming in, will just go through the offer as usual and purchase as normal. So, so that's just kind of an overview. So one of the things to remember about the new coaching program, this is designed specifically for one-on-one -on -one coaching or individuals with keeping track of communication and sessions um, and however you want to use that. So it's, it's not designed for group coaching. I'll have a video that I talk specifically about the difference between one-on-one -on -one coaching and group coaching and how best to do that inside Kajabi. Uh, but at the same time, just wanted to have that caveat so everybody understands that this is designed and that's what I love about it really because we want to have that ability to have individualized content that if in, in a regular product, if I were to post something or add some content there, everyone in that product can see it. In this, I can be much more specific on what I put for resources and agenda items and those kind of things that we put with there. Right now, the only thing that is a little bit um, that I hope that Kajabi comes out with soon, um, and if you wanna put it in the ideas tab for Kajabi and encourage that for sure, I would welcome you to do that. Uh, we do, hopefully it'll be in the next gen of when they update this was, is simply like the communication between um, where there's commenting back and forth. So right now the comments that are the notes section is completely private. So you can't see each other's notes that we put in there. So one of the workarounds that I've done so far is that we take notes on like a Google doc and then share that um, or some other type of document that then can be added to the resource section. So that's just something to kind of keep in mind. So that in a nutshell is an overview and an introduction to the new coaching program. I am so excited about this and it's, it's huge because what I was doing for my coaching was a lot more extensive and a lot harder to keep track of. I was trying to keep track of sessions through Trello and I was con um, doing the communication and things like that through both Trello and Dropbox and Google. And it was, you know, through Gmail and some of those things, it was, it was definitely a little more challenging, a little clunky, and, and certainly not as professional and streamlined. And what I love about this is now your clients will be able to go to their library and they'll be able then to, to we're sending them to your website. Because from a strategic standpoint, one of the things you always wanna remember is that we're wanting to drive traffic to your website. So if you have a program and you have coaching as a bonus as part of that program, we wanna get them back to the library so that they're logging in, so that they're seeing the resources that you have available. If you're using the, nor the new Encore website builder, then you have the ability then to have elements inside your library for upsells or additional communication. So strategically, this is phenomenal because we're sending them to the library, we're sending them to your your program and we're sending them to your website so that you can stay engaged and have all of those things in one place it's just fantastic i'm so excited so if you are not a kajabi user and you are interested in checking out the new kajabi product uh, definitely get in touch with me put a comment below or check out the description that goes with this video because if you use my partner link i do have some really cool bonuses and with the new launch of coaching kajabi's got a special promotion that they're putting out there's more on that later on anyone who signs up for kajabi until november 7th 2021 there's some bonus training and things like that that go along with it so you'll definitely want to check that out the the, the description will have the link to that for my partner links you can get the kajabi's bonuses and my bonuses if you already have a kajabi account be sure to check this out and experiment with it and let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below and then 
subscribe and like the channel so that I can make sure that I get you these other videos that we're putting out there so you get notified on my how-tos and the strategies and some of the other uses and the difference between group and one-on-one coaching. So stay tuned for those. We'll see you on the next videos.